Hey everybody, what's going on? So it looks like Trudeau is in some big trouble once again, as he just lost a second liberal stronghold in a by-election in downtown Montreal last night. Uh, the Bloc ended up winning it, and I just have a quick video here to talk about that. But before I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help grow the channel. And also, please don't forget to also leave your thoughts, your questions, and general comments in the comment section as well, as I do really enjoy engaging with you guys. So uh, let's get into this video here. It's just from Global. Sorry, just from Global breaking it down, and uh, then we'll uh, talk about it after, like usual. Or Justin Trudeau has suffered a crushing by-election loss. This time, the Liberals losing in downtown Montreal. It's a seat the Liberals have held for a number of years. It used to be former Justice Minister David Lametti's, but is now the Bloc Québécois. It was a tight three-way race. It wasn't decided until roughly 3 a.m. There were 91 people on the ballot. Protests over electoral reform saw many independent candidates sign up. That held Elections Canada up in counting the votes. But it was the Bloc Québécois who came forward with the victory. It was tight. The Liberals finished second. The NDP were a close third as well. But this is yet another crushing by-election loss for Justin Trudeau. In June, the Liberals lost in Toronto St. Paul's, a downtown riding they had held for over 30 years. And this now begs the question. If the Liberals under Mr. Trudeau cannot win in downtown Toronto, in downtown Montreal, two key areas for his coalition since he's been elected Prime Minister, where can they win? There was also a by-election in Winnipeg. The Liberals performed very poorly there as well, with roughly around 5% of the vote. But it was the NDP who held that seat in Elmwood, Transcona. Their vote held up very well compared to the 2021 election, retaining the seat. But it was the Conservatives who had a good night there, really pushing forward, gaining it over 10% of the vote really picking up a lot of Liberal and PPC voters in Winnipeg. That was a seat, though, that Pierre Polyev had been pushing hard to pick up. But the big questions on Parliament Hill today will be about Justin Trudeau and the Liberals. If he will see any more people, in particular anyone from his Quebec caucus, push back against him after a tough election result in Montreal, either calling for his resignation or watch for this too. Liberal MPs announcing soon that they will not run in the next election. Reading the situation, seeing that it is not good for the Liberals right now, after both by-election losses in Toronto in June, and now last night in Montreal. Okay. Saying that things are not looking good for the Liberals right now is um, probably understatement of the year. Um, now, for a lot of you guys, like if you weren't, um, like if you didn't know about the by-election, it was a seat or a riding in downtown Montreal. And like this gentleman said, you know, if, he, if Justin Trudeau can't win in downtown Toronto or Montreal, at least consistency, uh, consi consistently, where can he win? He's not winning in the other parts of Southern Ontario. It, I mean, Ontario is massively conservative right now, or at least voting conservative federally. He's not going to pick up any seats out West. Maybe he'll gain a couple in Quebec, but it, I mean, he's going to be, it's going to be hard for him just to hold on to the writings that he has. And now a lot of his MPs are going to drop out. You've already seen that a, a couple times already. Um, I can't remember the lady's name, but she was... She was in Toronto, St. Paul, and the last time they had an election, she won by 25%. 25%. And then in June, they had a by-election. She dropped out. There was someone else who ran, uh, Leslie Smith or whatever her name was. And Don Stewart, the conservative, won by seven points. So there was a 32% flip in just four years, which is pretty mar uh, remarkable. And you know, for Justin Trudeau, it's, okay, you lost in downtown Toronto. Your candidate lost in downtown Montreal. I mean, how many more by-elections? I don't even know how many more there are in the next year, but, I mean, you'd think they're not going to win very many of them. And still, Justin Trudeau won't resign. And at this point, I hope he doesn't. Like I said before, just go ahead, take the party down with you. Get as few seats as possible so that you guys can learn your lesson and not hire a, not uh, get a globalist to lead your party. Now, that being said, after the next election, they're going to probably go with Mark Carney, maybe even Christian Freeland, which would be, again, them making the same mistake. It's just, you know, I mean, there, there's really nothing that the liberals can do to gain back momentum at this point. They have screwed Canadians over for so long, and even liberal Canadians are, have had enough. I know some liberals, and some said, yeah, they're going to vote for Justin Trudeau. I don't get it, but it's their choice. And others have said they're not voting for liberals for a very long time, if ever again. There's a lot of people who are just completely done with any left-leading party in this country, and I, I don't blame them. And this is what you get. When you destroy a country over the course of nine years, of course people are going to get pissed off, and of course you're going to lose elections. 
And yes, all these liberal bots on X are going to say, oh, Pierre Polyev was just rage farming. This isn't rage farming from Pierre Polyev. It was actually Justin Trudeau who did the rage farming with his ridiculous spending, with his ridiculous federal crime laws, letting in like every Im- immigrant that wants to come here. There's been over a million in the past year. He's not building any houses. He's raising taxes. Everything is too expensive. It's just, of course, this is going to happen. And then they, they returned to question period yesterday. And, and again, they're just, oh, the liberal, the conservatives just want to call people names. It's like, well, when you destroy their country, of course, they're going to be pissed off and call people names. And you're seeing Canadians do this on the street to other politicians as well. And I'm not advocating doing that. Let your voice be heard, but try to just compose yourself a little bit. That way they can't say, oh, look at these unhinged conservatives. If you're just calm and collective and you tell them what's on your mind, they can't expose you because you've just exposed them. They can't turn it around on you, right? So if you do uh, run into one of these liberal politicians or NDP politicians, just be calm, be cool, let them know how you feel. And then, you know, maybe... uh, Maybe people in that party who who vote for the NDP or for the Liberals will understand that you cannot have a leader like this because Canadians won't stand for it anymore. But either way, whatever is bad news for Trudeau is good news for, uh, good news for me, and I'm sure it's good news for the rest of you as well. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section. I really do uh, want to hear what you guys think about this. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help the channel. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. I will be back shortly with a new video.